Oh, look at that. The people are here. I'm acting right. like I didn't hit record. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to fix Alexis's hair. You've had braids in for a little bit. We took the braids out, we've washed your hair, and now we're going to moisturize, and it's going to be just big curly hair, right? Mm -hmm. But I thought that we would take this opportunity, Alexis, to talk about something. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, how do you feel about your hair? I like my hair. You like your hair? Yes, it's good. Okay, mm -hmm. you like your hair being curly? Yes, and yes. braids, and, and uh, ponytails. Yeah, you have a lot of style options with your hair, right? Yes. I wanted to do this video because I think it's a time, and it's not, not that it's time, we tell you all the time, but I think it's a good time to talk about this because something happened at school with Ava, and um, it made her cry, and it, made her, it hurt her feelings, let's put it that way, it hurt her feelings. So I wanted to address it and talk about hair because what happened with school um, was about her hair, and it really made her upset. Yes. As soon as Ava comes in here, you know, we all know the history of hair when it comes to black, mixed, people of color, how difficult it's been to advocate to wear your hair naturally. Are you aware of this, Alexis? Mm, aware of what? That people used to talk about, like, people having their hair out curly and stuff? Yeah. So we've talked about this with you guys several times before. Yes. What do I always yes. tell you about your hair? That um, it's pretty and... It doesn't matter what other people think about it. Exactly. Because... Hello, hello Father. Hello. What are you doing in the video, right? Hi. For a second. Hi. As I said, so we always tell you that your hair is beautiful and it's pretty just the way it is and your curly hair is in its natural state is very beautiful, right? Yes. And you love your curly hair, do you? Yes. You guys have had braids for what, two and a half weeks? Maybe three weeks? It's like and, a month. Okay. I don't think it was, but possibly. It was. But you've been begging to have your hair out. You just want to have your hair out for a little while, right? Mm -hmm. That's what Ava's been saying. Ava was super excited. She got her hair washed and conditioned yesterday. Sometimes it's just a lot for me to do two heads in one day. I'm not a hairstylist, so I get tired. It's just me not being a hairstylist. It takes me longer, blah, blah, blah. So Ava, oh, here's Ava. Here's that child. You can stand next to your sister. I was mentioning how your feelings got hurt because somebody said something about your hair at school, or a couple people, whatever. So I felt like this was a good opportunity, not for you necessarily, because I tell you girls about how beautiful your hair is all the time, don't I? Yes. And you think your hair is beautiful. Yes. Not necessarily for you guys to learn that your hair is beautiful, but really for the audience and some people watching who may not have hair like this. They might have curly. Or to do, or who do have hair like this, to understand how we accept others and how we don't tease people or make fun of people for their differences because we're all different. Like you. you have no hair and you do wigs. Wow. Because you have no hair and you do wigs. But you've seen me do videos with my bald cap on, have you not? Yeah. Have I not sat here with my bald cap and did lives and videos and stuff? Bob. Because for me, what other people's opinion is of me, don't care. Not even that I don't care, it's not my problem. You have to think the best of you. Somebody else thinking something about me is not my problem. If you like this hairstyle and someone else says, oh, I don't like it, whose problem is that? Their problem. problem. Because you like it. Just deal with it. Just deal with it. Just and also, if you want to say something mean, just keep it to yourself. Yes. About it's, anything. Yes. One thing to learn is you never know what can really hurt somebody's feelings. Some people are more sensitive about their hair, or their skin, or, or their nose, or their, or their or eyes, or their face, <laughs> or their ears, sure, or their, or ears. their mouth, oh, yes, or their anything. cheeks. Okay. Brain. So if somebody's face, nose, mouth, cheeks looks weird to you, should you be like, oh, why'd your nose look like that? No, oh, no, 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 no. You should keep it to yourself. Or you should just say, oh, oh, they're different from me, but that's okay. Oh. Because everybody's different. Well, me and Alexis don't look different. Yes, we do. If people really look, you can see some differences. She is being rude. She could have just kept that to herself. Ava, stop. That's an example of how you can be rude and just keep it to yourself. Ava. No, if you're close to her face and she wants you to give her space, I think Alexis wants a similar style to what you had. But at the end of this, we're going to see the volume. Wow, Alexis, are you sleepy? No, I just yawned. Okay. So at the end of this, we're going to see the volume of Alexis' hair. So we can understand how Ava went to school the other day. It was just, but it was pretty, Ava, don't you think? Yeah, it was pretty. With curly hair, if, if you brush it with nothing, it will get so puffy. It'll be like, uh, it's under bad things. But with straight hair, you, it won't get very puffy. Uh, it, yes, it could. It could get very puffy. When you brush it? Yeah. Is that true? 
I don't know what kind of hair she's straight hair she's talking about, but some mostly. people have straight but curly hair. She was talking about straight hair. So could have kept that to yourself. Uh, Ava, you are not understand. I'm falling. <laughs> you are not understanding the assignment so, at all. Okay, <laughs> at all. So sisters, keep rude things to yourself. That is not the moral of this story. How did you feel when somebody said something about your hair? I felt fine. It's just that I didn't. I didn't like that they did it. Okay. It didn't make you change how you felt about your hair though, right? Nope. Upset you that they were talking about you? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing that it didn't make you feel like, oh, my hair is not pretty or oh, my hair is ugly. But do you know that some kids that happens to when they get made fun of for something, like their hair gets made fun of, they start thinking, oh, I hate my curly hair or oh, I don't like my red hair. Red hair? Oh, oh. I'm not saying you have red oh, hair. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you said I have red hair. <laughs> I, don't, I have brown yeah, hair. Yeah. But do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. How sometimes that can affect the confidence of some kids. What got me is that you started trying to put some gel and stuff in your hair to not make it puff up. No, I didn't. I tried. Yes, you did. You didn't even have a ponytail in. Yeah. It's fine. But what I want you to understand is your hair will get big. When it gets dry, it will get big. You know that. But there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Somebody in else. In some case, it actually does look crazy. It's nothing for anyone to talk about. Yes. So that's the main moral here. Now, on those kids, I don't think they understood the gravity of how they were being mean. Do you? Yes. Oh, you do think they did? Uh, yeah. I don't. I think maybe that maybe some Just kids. Just kidding. I think they didn't. No, I think some kids maybe say things and they're trying to be funny, but they don't realize they could be mean. Right? Okay, they were not trying to be funny though. Maybe they were trying to be mean, but maybe they didn't know that it would really be a really bad thing and not a nice thing to say. And and those type of things can really hurt people's feelings. Even if it wasn't you, if they said something mean to somebody else. Or Alexis. Uh, or Alexis or anybody else. Alexis happened to not have her hair out big and, and curly Alexis. that day. She wasn't the target of this. You know, we did have a conversation. Um, when your dad took you to school, he spoke to the principal. The principal uh, had a talk with the students and the parents, right? Yes. And and I think that the, the parents were surprised and said the students would apologize. And I think the students understood, right, that they shouldn't do this. Have they done it since? No. Yes, so, they have. They well, apologize today. No, so, I didn't say apologize. Alexis I said, have they made they fun did. of her since? No. Let's give it a week, uh. right? And let's see if they actually understand. Because if somebody understands something, that means even after a week, they still won't do it, right? Yes. Because then that lets you know they understood. Yeah. But the big lesson here, what did I say to you, Ava, when you were, when you were upset or uh, before going to school? What did I say to you, Ava? My hair is beautiful. I don't want you to let what anybody else thinks affect what you think about yourself. Oh, yeah, that's what you said. Yeah. I remember that. Sigma. I said that, Ava, if you have a problem with something on you, that's different. You can have, we can talk about that. But, but if you they have a problem, exactly. problem, then you then, have to just... Then whose problem is it? Their problem. Their problem. That was the biggest thing I wanted Ava to understand is because, and what else did I say to you? I said, Ava, guess what? You're going to meet a lot of... Um, Haters. Haters. I said haters. I said I think I said idiots. No, you but. didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> not, not to call anybody an idiot, but yeah, I'm not saying these kids are. And by the way, it was boys, not girls. Yes. So what I'm saying is, but you will meet a lot of people who, in your lifetime, who just say things or who are just ignorant or are mean because that's just who they are. Yeah. But you have to know who you are. So that was the lesson here, and I think this was the first time that. Either one of you were like really upset about going to school or, or wasn't happy with students at school. You're generally. If Alexis counts, then I wasn't happy. No, with Alexis, Alexis does not count, Ava. Jeez. <laughs> A lot of times. <laughs> what is the matter with you? Alexis, you've been very quiet. What, what did you. Did you witness this happen to your sister? No. But what do you think about the fact that somebody could, even if it wasn't your sister, might make fun of someone because of their hair or their teeth or whatever it is? I think it's mean. Maybe some kids don't understand how they could really hurt yes. other people's feelings. Yes. If your teeth like are crooked or if your teeth are yellow, sometimes it's not your fault when your teeth are yellow. But sometimes <laughs> they, you just don't brush your teeth or don't brush them good. But my teeth are white. Um, Alexis is... No, <laughs> I thought you were about to say something rude so I could teach you another lesson. I was about to. <laughs> but this lesson is at home too. <laughs> you sounded like a pig who just got caught in a trap. Do I let you guys just say mean things to each other? No. No, I don't. Because you know why? Even if it's your sister or your Dude. sibling and you're mad, you gotta learn other ways to handle your anger. You don't like get what? Like hitting each other. No. <laughs> 
like taking deep breaths. <laughs> what does Daniel Tiger say? I forgot what he says, but he says. Who's Daniel Tiger? Yeah. Y'all know who Daniel Tiger is. We used to watch that show. Golf Court! Tiger Woods? <laughs> Daniel Tiger, the cartoon? I don't even know. Oh! That's the What's Daniel Tiger? Oh, Daniel Tiger always says, When I'm mad, I count to ten. I think that's what he says. So, but the point I'm saying is, when you're mad, you find other ways. This is, this is our job to teach you to find other ways. You don't name call, you don't hit. You find other when ways to deal with your you head. You go, then you gonna go to jail. Yeah. Okay, you gonna go, go to jail. jail. You gonna go to jail. So you better Let learn that. other ways. Alexis, once you turn 10 years old, if you beat me up, you are going to go to jail. What I'm saying is this is why you learn now other ways to deal with your anger. Last thing you want to do is become an adult and not know how to deal with your anger. You gonna be in jail. And then you gonna make the trouble worse and worse and then it's gonna be worse than jail. Then you gonna spend your life in jail. I'm glad you guys love your curly hair, and I don't want anything to change that. You understand me? Yeah! Don't let can, can nothing I, can you change say, can how you, you say feel about your right now? Love each other, be kind to each other, and just, you never know what your neighbor, which means the person next to you, is going through. Including your sister. I know what Alexa's is going to do. <laughs> okay. go, go hit stop recording, please. Thank you for watching, and make sure you do more videos. Subscribe and show on the more cases. Thank you for watching.